Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of periventricular leukomalacia, grade 4. We have a separate lecture video on neonatal cranial ultrasound, so you can check that for more cases. One month and eight days old child was sent to us for a brain ultrasound. It had a history of prolonged labor and there was perinatal asphyxia and hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy for which it was admitted into the neonatal intensive care unit. There was a history of intracranial hemorrhage during that time. Fortunately, the birth weight was around 3 kg, but right now during scan, the weight was around 2 kg. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the sagittal section of the brain through the anterior fontanelle. You can see the lateral ventricles here. You can see diffuse cystic spaces throughout the cerebrum. This is the cerebellum which looks apparently normal. And to it there is fourth ventricle. This is the third ventricle. But throughout the brain parenchyma you can see diffuse cystic spaces involving the frontotemporal parietal and occipital lobes. Here on coronal section, you can see diffuse cystic spaces throughout the cerebral hemispheres. If you look at the periventricular areas, these look quite echogenic. The ventricles are not dilated. Let's magnify a little. The cystic spaces are well visualized right now, and you can see the periventricular increased echogenicity. The cystic spaces extend up to the deep white matter. So this diffuse cystic appearance of the cerebral hemisphere involving the deep white matter along with periventricular increased echogenicity is known as periventricular leukomalacia grade 4. Let's see with high frequency and these cystic spaces are well visualized right now. You can also easily understand the increased periventricular echogenicity here. We have put color Doppler here and there is no apparent vascular abnormality seen on this image. Here is the picture, you can see the coronal sections showing periventricular leukomalacia. Here is the sagittal and coronal section with color Doppler. You can see the anterior cerebral artery here. The corpus callosum is present. Again another picture with high frequency and you can see the diffuse cystic spaces with periventricular increased echogenicity. Another similar type picture. So, in summary, periventricular increased echogenicity areas are seen. Extensive cystic lesions are noted involving the frontoparietotemporal occipital lobes extending up to the deep white matter. So, these features conclude it as a case of periventricular leukomalacia grade 4. Now, periventricular leukomalacia has four grades. In case of grade 1, there will be increased periventricular echogenicity only. Then in grade 2, you will get small periventricular cysts also. In grade 3, there will be extensive periventricular cystic spaces involving the occipital and frontoparietal regions. In case of grade 4, the cystic spaces will also involve the deep white matter, like you see in this picture. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.